In this tease math example, we're going to look at a sneaky percentage word problem. The video I just posted yesterday was a percentage problem dealing with money and it was tricky. This one is sneaky. This example comes from live session number 13 and live session 13 was all about percentage problems. So many different types of percentage problems. Definitely make sure you check that out. Now in this example, we are not dealing with money. Assuming you've read the question, you've looked at the bar graph, you may be thinking the answer is C. And if you did think that, that's the sneaky part. The answer is actually A, and I'm going to show you how to get that. We're going to look at two ways, the fast way and then the proportion way. Now, what did I mean by sneaky? You have to be careful with what this y-axis represents. It's the number of people, not the percentage of people. Now, let's look at chicken wings, tacos, chicken wings, 25 people, not percent. And for tacos, we have 15 people. That is a total of 40 people, 25 plus 15 but that's not 40%. It's 40 people out of the total number of people surveyed. So we need to come to these bars and add up all of these. This represents the total number of people surveyed. So we have 35 plus 25 plus 20 plus 30 plus 15. Yes, you do have to include the chicken wings and the tacos in that to get the total number of people. That 125, that is the total number of people. So 40 out of 125 people chose either chicken wings or tacos. That is a fraction. Convert that fraction to a decimal by dividing. That'll give you 0.32. Convert that decimal to a percent by either multiplying by 100 or moving your decimal two places to the right. That's how we're getting 32%. This means 32% of the people surveyed either chose chicken wings or tacos. And a little fun fact, circle back around and take 32% of the total, 32% of 125, multiplying that together does give you 40. There's those 40 people that either chose chicken wings or tacos. Now I did mention I would show you the proportion way. It's basically just a slightly longer version of what I just did. Part over whole equals percent over 100. We're trying to find a percent. The part is going to be the portion. That's the chicken wing lovers and the taco lovers. And that was 40 people out of the whole, the whole means the total number of people. We said that was 125 from earlier. And like I said, we're trying to find the percent. There's that X. We always put that over 100. And when you cross multiply and divide, 40 times 100 divided by 125, you get 32. And that represents 32%. You're not moving any decimals if you do this proportion approach. But we have two ways, a sneaky percentage word problem. When you're looking at bar graphs in particular, Pay special attention to what these values represent. Got to be careful there.